What's up? Happy Saturday. This is Actors Daily Press. <laughs> this is Actors Daily Press. My dog is <laughs> my dog is getting his life, honey, with this tour. So you may hear some growling, but today I'm talking about being wrong and allowing yourself to be wrong. So stay tuned. This is Actors Daily Bread, where I teach you how to crush your auditions, book more work, and live a life that you love. Honey, I'm going to have to put you in a cage. <laughs> oh, gosh. Happy Saturday, guys. Hop on. I just finished uh, teaching an amazing scene study class. Shout out to all my participants, all my students in the scene study class. Um, it's very intimate. And we are, honey, honey. My dog. I'm being. I'm letting him hang out. What's up, TC? Thank you for joining. Today, I want to talk about being wrong. You know, that's what I was talking about in the class. And if you want to get my next scene study class, just you know, keep an eye out because I don't know what I'm doing in the next one. But we're doing it. And today, we're really talking about creating character and allowing yourself to be wrong. If this is your first time watching Actors Daily Bread, I want to welcome you. Say what's up, all my replay watchers who will watch this later. What's up, replay watchers? Love you guys. But you know, how many times, raise your hand if you have taped an audition, had a callback, did an in person audition, and you were like, did I do it right? Was I right? Uh, did it go okay? I hope I made the right choice, right? We've all had that feeling before. And what I was encouraging my students today in class was to be wrong. <laughs> Honey, come here. Come here. If you're going to make noise, come here. Y'all can meet Prince. Oh, come here. Uh uh. You know, I like y'all to know everything. Oh, say hi. <laughs> Oh, thank you. Okay, can I go back to work? Everybody say hi to Prince. This is my fur baby. Okay, no, I don't need you to bark. <laughs> go that way. Guys, hold on one second. Come on. Inside. 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 I'm back. Hey, Bianca. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> that is Prince. So you guys, that is my 90 pound fur baby. Oh gosh. I let him out because I just was taught a two hour class and he's been trapped in the room with my hubby. Um, so that I had them trapped away. And so I let him loose and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go live. So, Hey, this is the real deal. That's, that's what's going on over here. But something that was a big aha for some of my students today was the ability to be wrong. Look, guys, you get, you know, if you're lucky to get an audition, you know, it might be two pages, right? You might, you might get two pages, might be last minute, no information. You don't have a whole script. The breakdown could be one sentence. And you're like, whoa, how are you supposed to know? Right? How are you supposed to know who this character is? How are you supposed to know what their history is? What their relationship is to the person in the scene with you? Like, how are you supposed to know what they really want? Like, you don't. And I want you guys to have freedom. And that's what I was talking to them about. And I want to share with you today. Give yourself the freedom to be wrong. Because here's the thing. if Without you having all of that information, being able to have the full script and, and really dissect it with the writer and director, you're probably going to be wrong. So be wrong. I mean, for real, like how freeing is that? So when you get a script and you get in something for, for an audition or I'll say for an audition, because when you get the full script, when you book it, that's something different. But when you get the full script, go through the motions of breaking it down and try to figure it out. And for anything you do not have the answer for, make it up. Remember when you were little, for those of you who talk, used to talk to yourself, I'm, maybe I'm the only one, um, talk to myself. I talked to my, my stuffed animals and I would play pretend or my friends would come over and we'd play. You weren't wrong. You weren't saying, wait, are we really... You know, is this, is this really how we should do it? Well, maybe this isn't right. Heck no. You just allowed yourself to play and pretend I was the queen. You're the king. No, I'm the doctor. No, this is what you are. And I'm mad at you. So I'm going to do this. And we just had fun. 
we just had fun, right? What's up, Jocelyn? Thank you for joining. My pleasure. I love doing these videos. So does that make sense? Give me a hello. Say what's up. Let me know if you're watching this, if you feel me. Like, I want you to, starting today to start giving yourself permission to be wrong. Give yourself permission to pretend again. Now, I know some of you watching have started acting late. One of my clients today, she said she started acting when she was 44. So for those of you who think, oh, is it too late for me to make a comeback? Or I took time off from my kids and that was my turn. Honey, she just started when she was 44 and she's working it out. So we're not going to do that. So whether, but I, I guarantee, I don't care if you're 44 or if you're four, there's imagination up here. There's freedom brewing. When you play pretend, when you talk to yourself, when you act out scripts, when no one's watching, you're not worried about, did I do it right? Start finding the freedom in that. And that starts by making up the story. When you don't have the full script and all you got was two, three pages, and where's one? Oh, this is one we used today in my in my scene study. So I have a scene study boot camp. That's what we're working on. I'm working with six lucky actors uh, this month. Um, and the breakdown, you can't, you see that? That's the role. The role was Dr. Lang. And that was it. Good character actress, 40s. Like, what the hell? What am I supposed to do? Is there more clues? Did they leave the clues out? <laughs> That's what you're probably thinking when you get that audition. Like, where, how, how exactly that feeling? Like, how, how how do I know you don't? You don't. <laughs> and instead of taking that, let me not spell that wrong. Instead of taking that and feeling stress, anxiety, having low confidence, and all that, I want you to take that. Uh, what I don't I don't know energy and make up the answers for you so that you can do the job that you need to do on camera or in that in-person audition. Be wrong. Allow yourself to make strong, bold choices by making it up. Where you mess up, a lot of you mess up is because you haven't made a single choice. You're like, all oh, this this is all they gave me, so I'm gonna just read the lines. I'm going to read them with feeling. Oh, she's angry. I'm going to be angry. Oh, he has to cry. I'm, I'm going to shed a tear. But do you know why? Do you know why you're shedding the tear? Do you know why you're angry? Do you know why this character is frustrated? It is no longer acceptable. And ca anybody in casting will tell you it's not acceptable to not show up and make a choice. And for those of you who are not booking enough television, enough film, it's because you're not making strong enough choices. So notice I said strong choice, not right choice. Ooh, I need to type that out because that was gold right there. For some of y'all, that's a breakthrough. Right versus strong. You worried about making the right choice and I'm telling you to make a strong choice. And you make a strong choice by just deciding something by making it up and making it true for you. The truer you make it for you, the truer you, the truer choice you can make. Does that make sense? I see it makes sense. It makes sense. Hey, TC, I see you. I see you. I see you, Jocelyn. I see you, TC. Um, Jocelyn said, I just turned 51 and I'm a newbie. Well, welcome, honey. Welcome, Jocelyn. Right? And this is the kind of stuff I work on with my, with my clients. Look, if you, if this is something you want to work on with me, you can, let me put this here. I didn't put it in the other thread. You can go to coachmechris.com and, and, and apply for a session with me and I can talk to you about what my coach, coaching options are. But regardless, when you get your next script, whether it's two pages or 10, you get to put, I always tell this to my actors, you guys know, my clients, you put your detective hat on, you look for the clues. What is this script telling me? What's in between the lines? You see, they crossed this off, but why? What, what, what else was there? How does this help me for my next scene? Because guess what? There are no writers or, or casting directors in your house when you get that script. You are responsible for making the choice. So I'm telling you, be wrong, be bold, make a strong choice and sit in it. Feel connected to the character because when you don't feel connected to the character, this is what we see. We see dead eyes. We see you thinking about your next line. We see you trying to cry. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm so 
tired. I don't know what happened to my husband. He he left and I don't know what to do. And I'm like, you faking. Who you faking? Faking. <laughs> don't fake it. But had I made a choice, had I just made something up, like I was four years old, just be in this world. Oh, I'm Dr. Lang. I'm a doctor. And this is what I, you know, like allow yourself to be free. When you are free, that's where confidence com- comes from. Freedom, confidence, preparation. Whew, you know, I get I get pumped up. I mean, we, I just started to our class, so my energy is like this. So I was like, oh, let me go live. Um but yeah, any questions, any comments? I know only a few of you are watching. I know it's a Saturday afternoon, um, but I will take a question or two if you have one. Otherwise, I'm going to let the little monster out his cage. <laughs> but if you want to uh, jump on the phone with me um, to discuss coaching options, not just to be like, hey, girl, what are you doing? Like, I don't take those calls. <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay, well, it's kind of quiet today. I know it's a Saturday, but just take that food for thought. Make a strong choice. Make a bold choice. Be wrong. Stop holding on to being right. Half the time you audition for stuff, they don't know what they want. It'd be like any ethnicity, male or female, 20s to 60s. You'd be like, well, what the hell? Like, Do you know? No, they don't. Casting, producers, directors, they'll know it when they see it. So how about you be the person who shows up with a strong choice, backstory, and just make it interesting? Because remember, your job is to book the room. Your job is to book the room. That means you get that office to like you. You get that casting director to keep calling you. Don't be so tied to the one sole outcome of that one role because so many things, so many factors come into that. I just had an audition two days ago for a film and I haven't booked anything with that casting director, but he's called me three times in the past couple months for nice, juicy things. And when I go to that waiting room, it'd be white girls, Asian girls, black girls. I'd be like, okay. They don't know what they want till they see it. So that's that. So this, you know, this has been Actors Daily Bread. This is episode 133. So if you are behind, if you're new to me, I want to welcome you to my world. If you're not a part of the Hollywood bound actors, let me put it here for those of you who are not, because I didn't put any of these links. When this replays, I'll put the links. But if you are not part of the Hollywood bound actors Facebook group, it's a free Facebook group. Just go ahead and type it in the search bar above and come join us. Um, It's a very supportive community. I do some special trainings in there. I'm about to prep a special training just for that group very soon. And I would love to have you come join our wonderful community. Uh, Again, I am here. Um, Let me see. I have one question. Uh, TC says, this is awesome. Always have a secret. Absolutely. Hey, Bianca. Bianca says, how do you feel fearless sometimes when you felt defeated for a while? Mm, Let me read it. Let me absorb that. Hold on. How do you feel fearless sometimes when you felt defeated for a while? You know, Bianca, I think we've all had moments where we've had a defeated moment or moments. That could be a month, it could be a day, or it could be several years. And I think there's, I personally don't think there's a such thing as fearlessness. And I know I may ruffle some feathers. I believe, like you guys see me on these videos, you know, I show up, I do things, and you see other people who are like looking successful or just looking like they're always putting themselves out there. They're always starting this new business or doing whatever. And I believe most of us are playing scared. I don't believe that we're truly fearless. I mean, it's something cute to put on a cup or a t-shirt, but I will speak from my own truth. I'm not fearless. I feel the fear and do it anyway. As my friend Tia Buckham Buckham White would say, play scared. I've gotten so used to playing scared and being uncomfortable. Being uncomfortable is my new comfortable, if that makes any sense. So when you allow yourself space to be uncomfortable and say, okay, I don't even know if I have the confidence to do this. I don't even know if this is going to work. I may fall flat on my face. You know, this may not work, but I'm going to do it anyway. Hit send. I'm going to do it anyway. Upload. 
I'm going to do it anyway. Hit the live button. Oh, God, we're live. Five, four, three, two, and we're, hey, welcome to Actors Daily Bread. I'm, and I made, gosh, I, I, I wish some of you would go back and look at episode one through seven of this. Because they were like, I had no idea what I was even going to be talking about. I was just like, I'm going to show up now. Don't know what I'm doing. So I think it will start to come. And I, Bianca, I also believe in in trying to find the small celebrations along the way. And you've worked with me in the past when I, Bianca used to be one of my, I said, when I used to only coach women and not actors, but I always believe in, even to my current clients, I, we start every session with celebrations because if we don't start celebrating the small steps we've made, like, wow, if you've been depressed and you're like, but today I got out the bed and took a shower before 2 PM. Like if that's your celebration for the day, well, honey, let's celebrate it. Because everything will get you to the next level. Well, maybe tomorrow you won't stay in the bed. You know, maybe some, maybe the day after that you'll get that new job. Maybe the day after that you'll, you know, go on that dating website to find that guy or that girl that, you know, you've been wanting to find. Like whatever that is for you, wherever you're feeling stagnant, trapped, stuck, there's a way out. And I always talk about, you know, you've been, def- you know, it's that, you know, gosh, it makes me think of. It makes me think of that Donnie McClurk- McClurklin song that we fall down, but we get up. Anybody remember that? I love about, I love that. Not, in, not even about like, um, let me hide that there, being a saint or a sinner, none of that, but just the fact that we all fall down. And the challenge is getting back up. But I believe if I keep playing scared, I keep growing. None of us grow in, a, in this comfort zone, because as I always say, the comfort zone is the unco- is not really comfortable at all. We feel stuck, we feel frustrated, but I think challenging yourself to make a step and then celebrating that step. I joke a lot about, you know, wanting a six pack, but you don't do no crunches. Or maybe today you did two crunches. You'd be like, whoa, I did two crunches. Yes, because that was two more than I did for the past two years. And when you celebrate that, you might eat something different. You might eat an apple instead of a donut. Next thing you know, you're doing 10 crunches. And next thing you know, you're getting abs and you're starting to see results and more and more results. And that's how I look at life. That's how I look at my career. Just keep showing up. Showing up is half the battle. And so the, the reality, Bianca, there may still be days where you feel defeated or you may feel like a fraud or that you don't that you don't feel like anything is making any progress. But if you allow yourself, if you give yourself permission to play scared, that way you don't have an idea that fear is going somewhere. Honey, fear is along for the ride, no matter what you're doing, no matter what line of work you're in, no matter where you're watching me from. What's up, Tamika? I see you. No matter where you are, what you're doing, fear comes along for the ride. So I don't, I'm not fearless. I don't think a lot of people are fearless. I just think they've learned how to bring fear along on the journey. Understand that, oh, fear, you're here. Okay. Y'all know I give mine, mine a name. That's Veronica. Veronica's the fear. Veronica's the inner critic. That one that tells me I can't do anything. The one that reminds me of all the times I messed up. Veronica stays right here. And I'd be like, hey, Veronica, thank you. I heard you. But I got, I'm still going to do it. But don't you know, But you sp- messed up last time. Remember that time you were just embarrassed? Uh-huh, I do. But I'm going to still go ahead and do this thing that I said I'm going to do today. And that helps me. I And people laugh, but I name that voice so that I am very aware that that is not Christine talking to Christine. And as silly as it may seem, I tell people this all the time. Give it a name because we all have a voice. Some of us louder than others. Some of us to the point that we need medication, right? Mental health, that's real. I don't make light of that. But that voice starts to take control. And so I say, take control of it. Understand that it's there. It's going to come along for the ride. And once you, ex- and you expect fear to go be gone, that's a lie. Fear is coming. So I hope that answered your question. I know I went around the world, but that's how I approach life. And that's how I, I approach all of this because I just... Fear is going to be there. And we've all been defeated in some way. It just hasn't been on blast for the world to see. Maybe only your family knows about it or just you know about it or your kids know about it. But it's a new day. Today's a new day. Tomorrow's a new day. Just try to be as present as you can be and make choices from there. You know? So 
I hope that helps. Thanks for hanging and rock with me, you guys, on this lovely Saturday. <sighs> I'm going to take a debrief now that I've been talking for hours and hours. Um, I love teaching. Um, I just need some tea. That's all. I just need some tea. <laughs> Have an amazing rest of the day. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.